was nice. <laughs> There's some old factory here of some description. There's some name up there. Look at that. At one time supplying a livelihood for people. Who knows, maybe families. old train carriages up there. Obviously there's a, a train bridge just in front of us here. Is it some sort of restoration place or museum or something? I don't know. Well, we're in the outskirts of Loughborough now, and the weather's holding, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Lots of varied properties along here. New, modern flats, old converted mills, and a lot of work going on, just like when you're heading towards Chester. You see these old mills getting converted to luxury flats. Quaint. I quite like the idea of those. Very small but very nice. The boat in. Personally, I don't think he's got enough fenders on that boat. Hello! <laughs> Just going into a lock. <laughs> and it's the first lock we've gone into. And it hasn't been raining for some time. Probably most of the day, to be fair. Right on cue, we're in the lock. And it's started to rain again. <laughs> the weather guards aren't being very friendly with us today. Well, the camera's going away again. We're gonna try and find some more in. <laughs> right, rain stopped. I think we're ready to go again. this wind blowing than the rain. Um, yeah, when we left that mooring we did get soaked again. It's one of those days. Some huge 
huge properties here, huge houses. That's very, very nice. This is a Saw Boating Club. Been there since 1961. Very nice place to moor. I'm sorry, but it is so windy. But if you can hear me, those are the emergency moorings. <laughs> you won't be able to get off, but you can tie your boat to that if the river's flooded. There was a warning light further back, and if the red light's showing, you have to moor there until the waters subside. It'd be no good for Chip and Dale. Wouldn't be able to get off. So we found our mooring for the night. It was getting windy, and we were sick of Mother Nature throwing everything at us, to be fair. It's been a heck of a day. So we moored up, and the bonus is we are outside a pub. So would it be rude not to take advantage, I suppose, but uh, yeah, there's some sort of shelf here. I can't get right in with Chug, so we're going to have to be careful with the doggies, but it'll be good. Yeah, it really has been quite a trying day, really, with uh, the weather, the wind and everything else. It's been, uh, it's been a long day, but a good day. Any day on the water is a good day. Uh, Zeus Lock is just a little bit further up there, which is our target, so we've got to where we needed to be for the day. So hopefully when we cruise tomorrow, we should be back on the train with the Mersey. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hello baby. Hello. Hello baby boy. Hello baby. Hello, Chipster Whipster. Hello, baby. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh, you want a tickle? Okay, okay. Give your belly a rub, will I? Hey, I'll give your belly a rub. Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Mm, little man. <laughs> well, somebody's cosy. Where are you? Oh, oh, you're right at the back, Daily Whaley. Where, where, where are Where Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, hello, little baby. Hello. <laughs> Sweetheart, you've made yourself really comfy in there, haven't you? Wow. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh. Well, good morning. It's... It's been raining. There's a little bit of rain on the window. And it's looking very grey yet again. But apparently we're supposed to be getting a heat wave coming in. Yeah. Well, it's Monday. It's the 9th of August. Uh, it's a little after seven. Uh, we're cruising today up to Trent Lock. Um, John and Ange are meeting some old friends there. They, uh, they're driving down to come and meet them for an hour or two. Uh, and then we're going to carry on up the Trent and Mersey and look for a nice mooring somewhere. That's the plan. But we'll wait and see what the weather uh, has in store for us. Yesterday was a very trying day. We were all exhausted last night uh, with the weather and the stopping and the locks and everything else. And it's, it's just started to rain again. So looks like the weather's going to be in charge again today. <sighs> Coffee. Well, the rain's eased a little bit. We've got the boats ready. Um, it's been a nice mooring here, um, outside this pub. Uh, we've just been watching a crayfish under the water. Huge crayfish, must have been about seven inches long, like a lobster. But uh, yeah, it's been all right outside this pub. But I just thought I'd share this sign with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it tickled me that. Yeah, quite a funny sign. But uh, I think to have customers, you have to be open. Um, we all turned up here, and after the busy day yesterday, we wanted some food, to be honest, and we were going to treat ourselves. But unfortunately, they weren't cooking, even though there's signs everywhere saying breakfasts, cooking, and everything else. There was no food available. And last night, he closed at 7 o'clock. He's not opening today till 12. He's not doing breakfast either. So, a bit disappointing, to be honest with you. Yes, you want customers, but you do have to be open to get them in, I think. Right, let's get going. On our way, uh, another day. Let's see what today brings. Uh, let's hope it brings a bit of sunshine. We're supposed to be having a heat wave on the way again, so that will be nice. We'll be coming up to our first lock very shortly. So, uh, yeah, what a way to wake up. <laughs> Lock's set. So, uh, John and myself are going to bring the boats in. And this is our last lock for maybe a couple of hours. Uh, we're carrying on on the River Saw. So we're lock-free for a while. So that'll be good. So that's Zeus lock done. So now a nice couple of hours of river cruising in the dry, I hope. Farmer just checking his cattle and his trusty Land Rover. Lovely. And here it appears we've got some. Very large floating homes. Combination of space and water. Nice idea. Well, that was a lovely cruise down the river saw there. So this lock is called Kegworth New Lock. Uh, you can actually see what remains of the old lock over the other side. Yeah, a new lock. That's novel. So you can see over there the old ladder for the old lock. Yeah, novel. And here's where the original lock was. This is weird. You can see that's where the gates were originally long filled and overgrown look at this wow <laughs> strange yeah the old boaters would have been using these these tying up mushrooms very interesting i love things like this look at that <laughs> very interesting The old and the new. Yeah, I love history like that. Imagine the old boats going through there. And you can see there's mooring when you're in, if you're a single boater. I don't know whether you can see the, the wire that comes down here. And you can put your centre line around that to hold your boat in place. Right, let's get the boats in.
that's where the old lock would have exited. You're comfy boys! <laughs> Yo, dear dear! You go back to sleep now. And there you can clearly see the eight cooling towers of Ratcliffe Power Station. Very imposing on the skyline. The next lock here, and you can clearly see they were paired. There was two. Look at that. Let's go for a walk down the middle of a lock. <laughs> this is so weird. Look at the old gates. Yeah, I don't think I've ever walked through the middle of a lock before. <laughs> Look at that, the old mooring bollards. Wow, yeah, that is strange. And there's the new. Sorry about the noise, there's a boat getting jet washed. But this here, this flood lock, is the last lock that we're going to go through on the River Saw, as we'll soon be joining the River Trent. <laughs> <laughs>